Joe Haygood here, aka MC Lazy J. We are back and we are starting episode two of Before the Storm Life is Strange. Oh, yeah, Firewalk. Hey, Rainbow. Glad to see you're back. And you got my message. And that must be the principal. You gonna give us some grief? <laughs> no, I just had to go check on my car and my kid's car. Like I said, I always have to check on it at night because of the one time I caught somebody trying to siphon gas out of the tank. But it's Chloe. Of course she's got an attitude. Go mom. Your relationship with Blackwell the minute you left school grounds without permission. What does that mean? 
<laughs> I understand, there is, no there is no doubt that Chloe's behavior must improve. But given what we've just learned, given about, the we've just learned about the negative influence she was under, I hope you will allow her just one, one, one more chance. chance. Miss Amber, Miss Amber, I am a spy. I am just a spy. I understand. This being your first this being your first infraction, no in no way to be suspended. You have squandered you our trust. No you will no longer be my administrative assistant, so to speak. And you will no longer be involved, you in, Blackwell's no longer be involved in Blackwell's performance of the Tempest. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Victoria Chase. Oh, that bitch. Thank you. 
I got a, I got a saver. Couldn't let her go down. I know how important the play was for her. Huh. Uh, let's see. I might be able to get the audio back up. Let's... It's probably because I turned down the master volume on my, uh... Nothing to be sorry about with me at the junkyard later, you bet. There you go. That should make that better. I didn't get the chance to introduce myself. I'm Joyce. Mrs. Price. I'm Rose. This is Jane. I'm sorry we had to meet like this. No, I'm sorry. I'm sure for you this is an unusual circumstance. We really should be going. Nice to meet you. Mom, I see you in the park. Yeah, I know. I disappointed. Disappointed hey, mom. I'm supposed to walk you out. Just you and me. Hey, Skip. You knew I was supposed to have today off, right? Sorry that my totally fair and impartial hearing inconvenienced you, man. I don't really care about any of this shit. Except my secret stash. Might as well grab my emergency joint. Hell yeah. Bongo was a stray cat before we rescued her. Then she got run over by a car. Let's see. I don't really care about homework. Trusty keeper of my graffiti pens. You've served me well. Huh. 
<laughs> Ten, almost. Maybe chem was the class I hated the least. I had big plans for adding to this collage. Oh well. Maybe chem was the class I hated the least. Trash it. I should write a poem to mark the occasion. Something with... Absolutely, positively the best concert of 2008. Too bad it's time to go. I'm looking for the emergency joint. messed up don't, don't mess with someone's stash that's uncalled for fuck every inch of this place I wish I could tag it from floor to ceiling but with Skip watching me. Uh, bathroom. Then I'm out. Cool? <sighs> okay. But try to make it fast, will you? The infamous bathroom. <laughs> Good on Chloe. Holy shit. She just fucked up that bathroom. <laughs> hey, she messed it up real bad. Trying to prove Oh great We're going to have to deal with David
later, Skip. Later. Later. Oh, this is wonderful. Looks like David's here. Awesome. Ah, the return of Hella. would have loved this shit. Three guesses whose bike this is, and they all start with Miss Grant. Damn. I guess I will miss one thing about this place. Walls' car. Crushing spirits must pay pretty well. I guess this fire is no joke. Still can't believe Rachel. Yeah, started. Rachel uh, is the fire starter. Nomadic fire starter. Maybe they'll use my scholarship money to finally fix this pothole. Hey, Elliot. What brings Chloe Price to school on a Saturday morning? Nothing good, I bet. I was expelled. Wait, really? Holy shit! I know. I'm surprised it took this long, too. Do you want a hug? Uh, okay. He's got wood. He's looking for some wood. Thanks. Was Rachel Amber involved? Yeah. And let me guess. Did she get off scot-free? Well, yeah. But she tried to cover for me. Uh -huh. Anyway, what are you doing here? I thought I should come early to grab tickets. For the Tempest? You said we might see it together. Ah, uh, right. Good call. Did you get my text? About hanging out afterwards? I did. Sorry, Elliot, but I'm probably gonna hang out with Rachel. I'm gonna crush his dreams right here and now. Celebration and whatever. Oh, cool. That makes sense. I better go. My mom is waiting to stick her attack mustache on me. Her boyfriend. Don't worry about it. See you around, Elliot. Yeah. Later. Now he has sad face. Someone's trying a bit too hard with those bumper stickers. Feline Fister. That sounds gross. Taking pride in Blackwell Athletics means taking pride in yourself. Also, the trustees and their enormous bank accounts. Another letter to Max. That I'll never send. At least Journal Max won't abandon me the way real Max did. Huh. 
Huh. Blackwell's criminal element strikes again. Let her go before Wells pins it on me. There we go. Huh. What could the Tempest use more of? Pot. Everybody wants to have a good time. Damn right? straight. High times. Well, let's go get this over with. It's about damn time. David, please. Chloe, your mother and I have been talking. Can we do this later? I don't think I can handle another fight right now. And who do you expect to handle things for you? Your mother? I don't need a conversation. Not with Sergeant Asshat here. I just need some space. Do not use that language with your mother. Attack mustache. If my mother has something to say, she will say it to me. She has. The problem is, you don't listen. Maybe if you try listening to me, instead of fighting me about everything, you might actually learn a thing or two. You know, the thing is... What? How to be I a think soldier? David soldier. is actually a genuine soldier. good guy, although I really had problems when he Kids struck Chloe soldier. in the first uh, the season two. of... Life is strange. You had a scholarship, but Do you know what I think means? his heart normally is in the right place. I think he's up? trying to, to diner? teach her. I just think sometimes his someone needed my help. Who? Your friend Rachel? Because I think the daughter of the DA is going to be just fine. I need your help. Me, your mother. We need to get our own house in order. Right now, what I need most of all is for the two of you to start getting along. Chloe, I care about Joyce very much. I'm willing to forgive you for the incident yesterday. If you improve your attitude going forward. Incident? What incident? Chloe was incredibly out of line. She insulted me. Swore at me. But with an apology, I'm willing to start over. Sure. Reset button pressed. I am glad to hear I said I genuinely... On, I will be assisting your mother in a few areas. Like making sure that you are no longer abusing drugs or alcohol. Huh. Mom. Chloe, I'd like you to empty your pockets and place all your belongings on the trunk of the car. What the fuck? If we are going to start over, we have to know that you are not abusing drugs. If you're not, you should be eager for the chance to prove it. Mom, I don't need more discipline from you. I need my mom. I know, Chloe, and I'm sorry, but David feels... Joyce. We feel this is the best way to start fresh. Let's go, Chloe. Quit stalling. I want to see my shit so badly. You know what 
sucks even worse than invading someone's privacy? Doing it for no reason. You're awfully smug for someone who just got kicked out of school. Chloe, I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? I forgive you. You were under a terrible influence. I just worry about you. But that's no excuse. Joyce, you can't start apologizing now. This will only encourage her. That's enough out of you, David. We need to start treating each other better. And that means all of us. We need a new beginning. A new chapter. One that will involve the... Three well, we know that doesn't work out well, because we've seen what happens after this. We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to... Oh. No fucking way. Chloe, after everything that's happened, I'm at a loss. I need help. Exactly. We need a firmer hand steering this ship. Talk to me, Chloe. Tell me what you're feeling. Mom, I, Mom, I, I, I know I fucked up. I'm a fuck up. I'm a fuck up. I'm sorry. Are you sorry? You don't even know what you're apologizing for. I've been shutting you out even though I've needed you and you need me and I know that. But this is not the answer. It's the only answer I have, Chloe. Boy. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. I'm sorry I took that for granted. I'm not choosing anyone over anyone else. It's about the three of us having a home together. It'll be better than you think, Chloe. Once everything's running smoothly, you'll see what a stable home can be like. No home. Not if he's there. Chloe. Chloe. Let her go. She'll come home as soon as her tantrum is over. Will she? Well, yeah, we know she does. We know she comes home eventually. Boy, I thought he was going to go Super Saiyan mustache. But I guess his power level didn't get over 9,000. How do you know which way is up when your whole life has been turned upside down? I mean, like I said, I think he has the best of intentions and just comes off poorly. You know, he just, <clears throat> you know, he just, and and some of that is just when you, you know, I grew up in that kind of household, being in a military household, and it is, it's very disciplinaristic, and it's very hard to break out of that. You know, my dad didn't really break out of his disciplinary roles until he was about two years out of the military, when I was like 12, 13 years old. And, uh, you know, but up to that point, it was like everything was in line and strict and. But it's what it's how you're taught to live. It's the rules set that you live by. But again, I get the intention of it. There's reasoning behind it. 
time to smash some shit. We could take that truck. We just need to make it work. It's got a good looking engine. It's dirty. But needs some work. Also, batteries don't come out that easy. I owned a PT Cruiser. I know how difficult a battery this can be to get out. Is a mess. But maybe I can fix it. If this beast. First thing it needs is a new battery. Wonder if I can find one around here. I guess I'll never ride one of these again. That's so awesome. Uh, let's see. You're a long way from the beach. Hold on. Driver's seat. Okay, so we're gonna have to graffiti a driver's seat at some point. Oh, a syringe. Here's the side of Arcadia Bay that I'll put on the postcard. Yes. Well, because they're a good chunk of lead. Wow. <laughs> Shitty ride, drug dealer. So what we thought crime paid better. What are you trying to hide under there, hood? Huh. I like how you can't use the latch until... <laughs> Excuse me. I also like how they didn't need any tools to get these batteries out. Not a single screwdriver. I also like how she put it in her pocket. Of course. It reminds me of <clears throat> when I played uh, the second Leisure Suit Larry game back in the 80s and there's a point where you buy a 32 gallon, it was like a trash can size soda. And it's like, how am I going to carry this with me? I don't know how I can carry a 30 gallon, you know, glass of Coke around. And it's like, oh, I'll just put it in my pocket. Everything else seems to fit in there. <laughs> I found that very amusing. I'll explore more after I take this battery back to the truck.
Done that a few times. There's a screwdriver on the dash. Before you pop the ignition, you could just touch the distributor cap to a spark plug and jump it as well on those old trucks. Or distributor cap and a piece of metal. This thing needs more love than I can give right now. In the meantime, maybe I can spruce it up a bit. Probably a good idea to cover over this with something. While an escape hatch could be nice, I should probably cover over this massive hole. Maybe there's another light bulb I can put in here. Anything else? Well, okay. Let's see what else this trash heap has. I'm pretty to sure we can use. Figured that was going to be relevant at some point. The pirate flag will probably work. This might make the perfect cover for that torn seat. Fold it up, put it in the pocket. Now. Hey, smut bag. These magazines are so gross. Who would look at this? <laughs> okay, I'm still looking, but it's only because I'm so fixated by how weird it is. Fun with candy. Four. Four. Um, something. There we go. Now I have a putting green in the car. Let's see. Guess I was pretty pissed at Rachel last night. Amazing that someone I just met could have made me this angry. Eh. Beach towel, I could have used that, but the pirate flag seems so much better. And there's a light bulb there.
Could use the welcome mat. Time to truck on back to the truck. Uh, I was trying to find the bobblehead. Bobblehead is in a box. Oh, probably this one. it out shopping cart probably drives like one too that's if it ever does drive which seems questionable still how sweet would that be well come on Chloe you can make it drive just use the power of we yeah Oh. Hey, Frank. What's up? Yeah, just checking in to see how you're doing. Really? No. Listen, we've got some biz that we're discuss. Where can we meet? What about? Oh, uh, like drugs? Frank. I'm hanging out in the junkyard, north of town. The junkyard. That's great. Stay there, I'll see you soon. Okay. And, Frank? After you hang up, are you going to smash your phone, like, in the movies? And if so, can I smash it? Trust me, Price. If I ever have to smash anything, you'll want nothing to do with it. I'll see you. Huh. He sounds crazy. get one chance to make a first expression. The eye sees all. Looking good, rubble bulb. Let's not kill the battery. What do we have here? Yep. This will do. Trucker hat. Time for some smokes. You have 
Uh, I don't know. If I would have had access to a junkyard, I probably would have hung out there. Don't you? Shit. I slept all day. Oh, I think she's dreaming. What the hell? I really think she's dreaming. Well, that sounds almost demonic in nature. Dad? No, I think she brought him back to life. Do I even like marshmallows? A perfect stab. Wonder if I can roast her dad on the fire. That would be funny. Pretend you're not mesmerized too. See, you're so drawn to it, you don't even realize the danger. Danger? Fire blinds us, just like darkness. But darkness blinds with absence, with loss. What does fire blind with? Beauty. But sometimes there's a greater beauty yet to come. Dang. What was in them cigarettes that she smoked? More like cigaweed. It wants all the beauty for itself. That's why you need to be careful. Careful of what? Oh, damn. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my damn. That was some messed up shit.
She never falls asleep with a cigarette. All right. <clears throat> well, since the game saved there, and I have to get up at roughly 4.30ish in the morning, I'm going to go ahead and uh, call it for the evening. Uh, thanks for watching. Thank you, Rainbow, for joining me as well. It's always nice. Um, we'll probably pick this up and finish it tomorrow. I'm going to look into that hidden agenda stuff, though, and see if I can find a way to make it work, but maybe not. You know? It just seems dumb. I don't know why they didn't do it the same way as the Jackbox stuff, where you just log into a website. Well, yeah, I do, because Sony's cheap. So, anyways, if not that, maybe I'll do one of those, the, the other one, the trivia thing. I'll do that, and uh, maybe I'll put that one online and see what happens with it. So, anyways, everybody, thanks for watching. Make sure to check out the You Like the Worst Stuff podcast. I'd really appreciate it. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, say goodnight. See ya. Thanks for watching.